And finally, the eighth app is custom video effects. And this allows you to upload any video from any video creation app that you've ever used or any royalty free videos that you already have or any kind of footage that you can imagine into this one app and add your own text effects, lower third elements and a whole lot more. You can even convert any video into a landscape, square, portrait or vertical style videos for social media. and spice them up even further than that. Rather than actually tell you about it, let me actually show you what it exactly does. A couple of things real quick when it comes to the custom video effects. The ability for you to have unlimited length in a way. Now what do I mean by that? See, the way we are restricting for custom video effects is just the file size, okay? Not the video length. The file size at this time is 250 megabytes, okay? So 250 MB megabytes which is a pretty huge amount, right? Now this is where you're getting limited, but if you upload a 150 megabyte video, but that's 20 minutes long, it doesn't matter. You can still edit it. You can still convert it into a square video, a social media project or an ad or anything you want to do. Add lower thirds and add all kinds of good overlays and that sort of thing, okay? Super important because that means this is a nifty trick I'm gonna show you later on at the very end of this video where you can convert a video into a very short form video like a shrink it down a lot more even if you have a longer video by using some tricks like uploading it to YouTube and then downloading it thereafter from YouTube which shrinks the video substantially or you can upload it to or you can use some other tools like Handbrake and so on. I'll talk about that in just a bit but that means it gives you super awesome opportunities. Think of it this way. You have a 15 minute video. You can edit it anywhere else. You can use it now. You have a 20 minute video. You can do that now. Let's say you have a 25 minute video and that's like 300 megabytes, it's not 250. I'm gonna show you how to shrink it later on, which means that you can edit that as well and uh, use all the benefits that you get as part of custom video effects, which is a really cool tool and a unique tool and uh, gives you a lot of cool abilities to do editing with your videos. And I'm gonna get to that right now. And then at the very end, just pay attention, watch out for it. I'm gonna come back and show you how you can shrink these videos and really take it up to the next level by giving that extra f uh, flexibility with the file size and so on, okay? All you need to do, click start, create a new project, select the video. I'm gonna use one of my videos that you see here. And boom, you have it right here opened up. Now I can do the aspect ratios. I can make it square like so to make it compatible with social media. I can change the aspect ratio like so. I could even fill it, like zoom it in like this and make it make, uh, for example, center it a bit. I can position myself so it'll look perfect on social media like so, right? And I can do that as well, or do something like this. So you have different options available. And on top of that, the other great part about this is, let's say I went back to this old aspect ratio of uh, a square video to fit it in. I can also, on top of that, if that wasn't enough, create specific style action videos that a lot of people are doing, like overlays. What I mean by that is you can quickly create these types of awesome effects that you see here, right? that you see here on the top and at the bottom that you see right here. You can do beautiful looking attention grabbing videos like this, what all the top influencers and video creators are doing these days with this one easy to use app. And I can just click done here and see how it shows up in the preview right here. Now they can run video ads with this. You can also put viral video content out there and you can literally convert any video in an, into an attention grabbing social media traffic generating video using this cool little app called custom video effects. Now, how do I recreate this? Super easy, okay? We click on this simple option that you see here. So let me quickly show you how easy and fast it is to replicate this entire process. So let me show you, let me clear everything so I can show you right from scratch. Click create overlay. All the video is gonna show up, the preview right here. We just click on shapes here, and then I'm gonna put a rectangle shape. Pretty straightforward, you can change all the colors, anything that you want here. You can add arrows and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, stuff here to make it even more enticing and exciting and then you can also change the color scheme uh, with the color palette that you see here or you can even change the background and texture and all that good stuff for the purpose of saving time I'm not going to do that right now but let me just quickly close and then we can add a text here as well so I'm just going to add in I'm going to put this uh, text I want to put it white color text I just put a text bar bottom and everything is editable and then I'm going to just type in what I typed in there so use this to grow your business right and then you can um, just click uh, apply 
and then we can do all kinds of good stuff. Watch this. We can put it here. I can reduce the size. I can make it into uh, two uh, options here. I, whatever I want to do, really, if you think about it, right? And I can put an exclamation mark here. And then what we can do next is we can add one of these nice little shapes. So I can add, um, for example, emoticons, stickers, shapes, doodles, everything I want. So in this case, it's a doodle. I'll put this uh, doodle right here, right? And you can even make it, because these are uh, transparent background doodles, so you can even put it up here, or you can do it here. You get the idea. They, they look good anyway, uh, wherever you decide to put it. And you can even put it here, okay? And you can even raise up this text slightly a bit, like so, if you want. And then we have on the top as well that we can do. So if you click apply, I can go back and then I can do the same uh, shape that I was telling you about. So let's go back and draw the shapes. Again, a rectangle, I go to the top here and I just wanna make it such that it would take over the background here. So once again, apply, go back, add text. Let's go to the text section here, boom, and add text, go back. And then we will add the text with the color, go back here. And then we can even reduce the size of it so that it fits a little bit here, uh, for example. So I can just go back and then I can do the text style here and I can reduce the size. And you can even for that matter, reduce it by actually going back here and then reducing it like so, okay? Super easy to do with that rather than going back and changing the font and all that. So if I want it, I could, now put the other stickers right now. So if we go to emoticons and then let's see the guy, somebody I can put, for example, one of these just to grab attention, right? And then I could put something like that and then click apply and boom, the top done button on the top. And there we go. Pretty nice, right? And gives us a preview and this can be a video ad, a social media post, a viral video, whatever it is that you can do with it. And again, we can even play the video. Watch this. Hey, this is Paul Fana. I have some great news for you. So there we go, pretty good. So we can do this for any video, then you just have to click create video and you're good to go. And the beauty is with this, there is no length limitation here. So you can put any video that you want. There's no limitation on how long that video can be, which makes it even better. So you can have any video up here and make it fully customizable. Now, this was a video with my face on, for example. What if you want to put any video, like an explainer video, like a royalty-free video and so on? Let me show you an example of that and upload another video of mine. I can go back and go this yoga studio video and I can change this over a bit, as you can see. And then I could for example, I do the same exact same thing that I did, right? And we can add explainers as well, right? Beautiful, again, I can add any element here to the bottom that you see. This part right here, I could do any element I want. I can add, say, for example, come to our yoga studio or benefits of yoga or something like that. And even on the top, I can do anything I want here as well. So it gives that real oomph to your videos. Now for the fun stuff. Let's say you created any video. Most likely that video, that you created with Video App Suite is gonna be a very tiny video. So that 250 megabytes limitation that is part of the custom video effects is not gonna be an issue at all for you 99% of the time. But there's that 1% of the time, maybe you're gonna put any kind of uh, stock video footage or some kind of uh, video that you got from some other app and so on, which might be a little bit bigger. So the way we shrink it, the easiest method, by the way, is to use the YouTube option, okay? So all you have to do is just log into your YouTube account and upload that video, which is about 300 megabytes, whatever size it is. I recommend videos under 25 minutes and so on regardless because you know, you're not trying to put a whole movie in there, but something decent for social media and so on. So in that case, you go to studio.youtube.com, okay? After you've uploaded the video, so let me read that again. After you've uploaded the video into YouTube, that video, which is more than 250 megabytes, which is not gonna be the case 99% of the time, but that 1% of the time, let's say, you upload it, to YouTube, go to YouTube, upload it. You probably already know that process. Go to youtube.com. And then after that, go to this link, studio.youtube.com. After you've done so, okay? And then the other option as well, if you don't want to go to studio.youtube.com is this option right here, which is right here, okay? Hopefully I can show it to you clearly. You see that edit video option here? That edit video option? I want you to go there, okay, that edit video option. So super important that you click on that. 
So once we click on that, you're going to be taken over to YouTube Studio, which is what I was telling you you can go to, right? It's going to take a few seconds. And then what I want you to pay attention to is this little three dots that you see here, okay? That right there, that those dots that right there, okay? Very, very important because you could easily miss it, right? And so all I want you to do once you've uploaded that is click on that. You see that? And then once you click on it, you get these options available called download and delete for this video, okay? Download and then delete. So this is what we do. We download this video. Boom. Right click, save, and done. Now we have that video downloaded. The next thing that we can do is go to uh, the actual custom video effects and the part where it says start now um, is where we go to the next and we go to select video is where you upload this video that you just downloaded from YouTube. Now, why are we going through the process of YouTube? See, YouTube automatically converts and strings down a video for its, without losing too much quality, right? It does a really good job of it. They have a compression system that they've mastered over the years and so on. So really by downloading an uploaded video from YouTube, you're gonna get that file size to be quite a bit smaller than when you started off with, especially if you used a different video tool to uh, the video app suite apps that are part of it. Let's say you're using some kind of roll to free footage or you're trying to create some other tool that you got a video that is very big in size, right? Like 500 megabytes or 300 megabytes or something small around that range. Then you can use that YouTube uploader and then go back and use this option to download and it's gonna shrink it by a good percentage points. And that means you're gonna always keep it within that time frame. okay? A little nifty trick, I personally use it. I don't use any video converters or anything like that just too complex of a tool. I just use YouTube. Let them use their technology to shrink it down for you. So that way you can download it and you have that quality preserved Then use it into the custom video effects, upload it here, and then you can start using that longer video as well without worrying too much about the file sizes and all that stuff, okay? So that gives you huge flexibility to pretty much do close to 99.99% of all kinds of videos, maybe even 100% for you in your, in your scenario, right? And then you're good to go convert them into square videos and use all the benefits that you get as part of the custom video effects app. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you found this helpful and I'll see you soon.